Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So in one of my last videos I used Perplexity and Claw to extract a list of highly relevant OSA keywords. They were so relevant in fact that they beat the Neuron Writer's native OSA capabilities and uh, they were absolutely free. So I thought it would be a nice experiment to take a look at uh, some of the best free or almost free options. Uh, mainly LLM models and try to replicate that and see which one is better suited for LSI keyword extraction. And LSI and SEO optimization has long become a standard for writing articles, so this is something that every blogger should be doing anyways. But we need to, to have a base of reference first, so I'll go to Neural Writer. I have pre-populated the title and the description and the keyword is how to start crypto mining at home. And I will just go and uh, click on list of uh, keywords and I'll extract them here. And this way we'll get a sense of what the SEO score is going to be going off of purely this list, nothing else. And I'll be using basic terms and extended terms only. So these are basic and these are extended. So this is the complete list. And I'm sad to say that the default score is only 27. What was the score before the keywords? Oh, I'm confused. So this is 27. And this used to be 22. <laughs> okay. So 27 it is. So the default score, the score to beat is 27. Now the first uh, to be tested is ChatGPT. And I thought long and hard about how to test ChatGPT. And I've decided to use the Metaphor Storage plugin because I wanted to be able to fetch real or close to real data. And we're going to use two very simple prompts. The first one is extract 100 highly semantically related OSI keywords as a common separated list for the top five performing articles for how to start crypto mining at home. So hopefully it's going article by article. And while we wait, let's do the same with perplexity. So same prompt. We'll do the same with Bart. And then with Claude, uh, I know that Claude is not connected, I mean, regular Claude is not connected to the internet, but people keep asking me what uh, some of the differences are between the Claude in perplexity and Claude as a standalone. So I will do this prompt in Claude, even though I don't think this is a fair, com fair comparison. So, okay, ChatGPT is being difficult today. Okay. Maybe we should be testing uh, perplexity once again. And the score went up to 48. Great. So this was perplexity, 48. Now let's look at bars. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Well, ChatGPT is still thinking. What I also wanted to do is to run the second prompt. And the second prompt is very similar to the first one, but it has to do with the entities, not OSI keywords. So it reads extract 50 highly semantically related entities as a common separated list, blah, blah, blah. And again, we'll do the same with Bart and Claude. So these are our entities and let's see if this bumps up the SEO score even further. Did it? Didn't it? Not by much, but still. So the best score is 50. And so far this is the score to beat. We can close perplexity for now. Let's um, test the bars. Here are 100 highly semantically related, these keywords, here's a brief explanation of each word and where are... Well, this is not a hundred. <laughs> oh my god, so Bart messed up big time. Uh, good old Bart. So I'll be getting rid of this. So this is a measly effort by Bart. 
And Bart is usually better than this, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And these are entities, at least this is what Bart thinks. Okay. And some services to 43, so not too bad. For this amount of keywords, this is a pretty good score. Bart is 43. We can close Bart. Okay, let's try Claude. Oh, Claude is going crazy. Okay, so these are the MSIs and these are entities. We would beat. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. So it's got a similar score, same as perplexity. Okay, interesting. So, so far, this is a tie between perplexities, Claude, and Claude's Claude. <laughs> And so what about ChatGPT? Is it still thinking? Oh, so it was able to create LSI keywords, so a lot of LSI keywords actually. And not as a common separated list, hopefully this will not affect the SEO score. We will still need to run the second prompt. And while we wait, uh, we almost forgot Bing. So the Microsoft's chatbot. And I'm actually wondering if we should be using the creative mode or balanced. Well, we don't want to go over the top with the irrelevant keywords. So I would say balanced is the better bet. Okay, how about ChatGPT? Okay, so it seems like entities. Okay, these are entities. It's actually, it's done the same thing. Oh, see, mining guides, mining resources. Well, actually, our say keywords and entities are different, but we are just taking this at face value and I'll just paste them in. Okay, so this is a giant list. And let's see if this is going to improve the SEO score. So we did 45, and this was ChatGPT which we can close as well. Claude, bye-bye to Claude. And now the only thing left is, left is Bing. Now, oh. here are the top five performing articles. So it's still fetching the articles and I like it. I actually like how it did that. Mm. And actually, while we are waiting, I almost forgot about another uh, amazing tool that I want to test, which is free and it's called Harpa AI. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to extract. And the way it works, you need to load a page of pages, then you initiate Harpa, and then you just go based on, and then this little code, extract 100 highly semantically relevant OSI keywords. Okay, well, let's check out the Bing. So Bing is being difficult. It says I can't. Uh, what if I were to choose the, to change the mode? I'm sorry, I'm sorry to uh, maybe creative. And Harper is trying to do its thing. Oh, okay, nice. So this is Harpa, and this was ChatGPT. Okay, we'll get rid of the commas. And again, based on page. And this time we are going to be talking about the entities. And I like this, this list already, so I wonder how high we'll go as far as SEO score. Okay, nice. So, some entities. Okay. So, how did we do? Oh, no, it's funny. I was actually secretly expecting Harper to beat everybody else. 49. Okay, not too bad. So, Bing is failing right now. Oh. Okay. Oh. So it actually took five of the articles and extracted the whole list of keywords off of each. 
Mm, interesting. Interesting. I'll need to do some formatting. Some quick and dirty formatting, but this looks promising, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so creative mode was able to bypass the AI in Bing. Okay, the same trick, but with entities. So guys, just use the creative mode. It does a much better job. And there was some anecdotal evidence that creative mode, so uh, that GPT-4 was behind the creative mode in Bing. While all the other modes were GPT 3.5, I'm not sure if it's correct, but it seems like Creative Mode was able to do what I wanted. And again, it's going article by article, and I like that. We uh, didn't see that in any of the plugins so far. So, once again, a little bit of formatting will go a long way. We just get rid of the names of the sources and last one. Oh, it was second last, okay, apologies. Okay, let's see, how did we do? And the SEO score is unchanged, so 42, it turned lower a little bit. Huh. So guys, there you have it. <laughs> So the funny thing is that for me at least, uh, and I want to, I really want to double check this. Hang on. Otherwise, I'll just I'll lose sleep over it. So what I'm trying to wrap my head around is uh, the fact that the native uh, to neural writer LSI keywords uh, weren't able to get to a high SEO score for some reason. So once again, basic terms. And um, where are the extended terms? Okay, let's uh, format this properly. Okay. And 27. Did we have 29 before? No, 27. Okay, so <laughs> every uh, AI tool, most of which are free, was able to beat NeuroWriter as far as the SEO score goes. We have two clear winners, which are both Claude. The first one is part of the of perplexity, and the second one is a standalone. And this actually kind of makes sense, since this is the same model. And a close second was Harpa, so I think the difference is negligible, so you can definitely use Harpa. But unfortunately, both Bing and Bart and even ChatGPT uh, weren't able to match uh, their competitors. But still, I'm very surprised that all of these tools are better than NeuroWriter. So next time you want to spend a lot of money on NeuroWriter, if you're on a tight budget, just think again. You can definitely extract keywords from these tools here and then use them to create your articles, which are going to be SEO optimized by default. And yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.